And then we come back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Against a pink haired guy. <laughs> War of the Roses! Duel Masters Edition. You could say Is that. This is, yes. You the ro <clears throat> the ro <clears throat> It's two completely different voices. <laughs> yes. The Rose Duelist, eh? I'm, I'm not impressed, in fact. I crush you like a poem as my dinosaur. That's totally not what he said, but it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> With my dinosaur deck. <laughs> yes. But this is actually the first time that we're gonna see Labyrinths, which is where we, it makes it more strategic. Yeah. I already see the Labyrinths, so, so there are those things which you can't move through. Yep. That's interesting. And here's one of our cards that we turn the thing. We'll turn the tides of war! Yes. Yeah, totally, that's exactly what it will do. Yeah, see? See, I'm good at this. Yay, forest time. Which actually yeah. forest does not change the weapon, so. Yeah, I, I didn't figure it did. Because I was like, that'd be, that'd be super OP, considering I have a card specifically for removing labyrinths. Yeah. Um... Huh. It might actually not be bad. I'm, I'm gonna see what happens if I use this. Okay. Cause I mean, I, I cause I, I can like see what card he has, but my monster won't actually die because it will just respawn. Right. Makes sense. Though, would you want to put in defense mode then? Yes, yeah, it, I, I moved it one forward. Oh, right, right. So it's actually in range. Yep, and then actually what I can do is I can put a pretty decent monster right behind it. And if he yes. attacks me, I can, and I find out what he has, I might be able to kill it. You might be able to do like go all and rush in and rape it in the face. Yep. Raping but, things in the face is, um, is, is fun. What I do need though is um I'm just gonna put the stone as a maybe to find out what he has. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean you kinda need to know what I'm fighting. Yeah, yeah. Sounds reasonable because I don't really know what to expect out of this guy. Tracheodon. Okay, so, well, I guess he did say dinosaurs, yeah. But yeah, I know he's dinosaurs, but I mean, like, I meant, like, what the strengths is of his car. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it respawns. Which is very yeah. useful. Most of all because of the way that it, like, everything is tunneled, so... I can very easily control that. Yeah. So... What's that? Oh, health He is 500. Which is not the... Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. I oh. guess it won't do that much damage. Because <laughs> he's just attacks me anyway. Yeah. So they should really have a. Do you want your end, you, end your turn? You have done literally nothing. <laughs> like, like, I wonder why the Japanese guys are so weird. I'm not being able to figure out the most obvious stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure why this game. <laughs> I thought he was just. Oh, right, he was probably shuffling through his like, Anyways, I find it amusing, though, that he killed his own card. Like, yeah. just for no reason. Hey, maybe he really hates that guy. Maybe <laughs> so. What I can do is put this guy down. Move this guy over there. And move this guy up. Because I kind of want to do it in that because that one has the effect that it powers everyone down in that line, which would be really useful if I get it to die in that line without actually powering down my own stuff, obviously. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh no, not the tentacle plant! I was <laughs> planning to use that later. The tentacle what? plant. Why does that exist? Why is why who in Yu-Gi-Oh said like this game needs a tentacle plant? <laughs> I don't. I'm sure. I'm sure there's some 
Japanese guy who has a t who has a proper tentacle fetish, and he is like, hmm. You know, this game has all kinds of monsters. Tentacles can be monsters. You shouldn't put your fetish into a shaven's card game. <laughs> Unless that fetish is motorcycles. Uh, well, uh, come, come on now. If you, if you were, if you were making Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I'm sure you'd want to work with the dragon cards and the bird cards. But, but, I, 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 but those are not feather, like, not in that sense of feather. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's different, bro. <laughs> Your face is different. Yeah, this guy's they... actually pretty tough. He has a lot of really powerful cards, that's why, mostly why I said that, um, th these guys might actually be more difficult in a way, but they have less of the freaking spiking. Yeah. Also, you, you monster, they just killed how to pick bot. <laughs> yes. Good to know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know why I thought that was relevant. I just thought that was relevant. So I do know that thing is not a monster, by the way. It's ah. Uh, because it, the power down effect did not happen on it. Ah. Uh, and it should have, because if it would have been a monster, I would have seen that happen. Yeah. Well, now we're going to rape him in the back with a beetle. <laughs> that sounds really mean. <laughs> well, he started it. Right, it, not the big wave though. Well, yeah, but you know, aren't aren't back rapes similar enough to front? I don't know. <laughs> Are you gonna debate the? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't normally ask these questions. Or so you say. Well, uh, yeah. So I say. Oh, an acid hole trap. But I'm gonna keep it for now because I do it's... know that he has some really pro piece cards. Yeah, yeah, and that's actually really good for like a um place like this. Yeah, because you, you, there's no way you can walk around it. Right, right. I'm so still yeah, not, I'm still worried about that monster coming to work because he's just walking at my really powerful, not super powerful, but pretty decent monster. And he doesn't seem faced at all. Yeah. Which worries me slightly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether to be worried or not. Like, normally I would be, but at the same time, I'm like, he's probably doing something stupid, like bluffing. I don't know if he's that dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how dumb he is. He doesn't. Admittedly, the other guy was as dumb as the girl, so I don't know if I should assume that he is, but I, yeah, I probably shouldn't. But I I feel accused each day. Someone has to be as dumb as the girl. So for someone as dumb as a girl, <laughs> even if it's just another girl. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. And there we go. It's pretty decent. It's not his most powerful car. Actually, it it, it would get really powerful. I, I, maybe I should just use the acid hole trap on it. Yeah. Because currently it's not on its home territory, but it would get powerful once it is on its home territory. Right. So yeah, I, I, I would be uh, okay with using the asshole trap on it. It's unfortunate that it took out your thing, though. Right, that was bad. Oh! I can beat it. Ooh. Yep. Ah. Nice. Because now it's 2,000, but it's... once it divides in there, it has 3,000. Ah, right. Nice. Rose Spectre of Dawn. It's pretty sexy. What if Zuna would say Doom, but it actually does? Oh. Oh, I read it, so I... We, we have seen it attack, though. It oh, doesn't use its sand deck, is it? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Wait, maybe we did, haven't, but I have, because I played with this deck when I did a test yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Right, that went decent. I, I, I like this map, actually. It's very strategic, in a way. Yeah, I like the whole laning thing, too. Um, It certainly adds a different feel. That's something I'm already liking about the game. It's It looks like uh, every map feels different. Two-headed King Max, which is like his defining card. Oh, even it's really fucking weird. Why is it two-headed? 
I don't know. Like, it actually looks decent. It as like as a 3D, it looks fine. But on the card, it looks really weird. Yeah, like like it this, looks super weird. Uh... The problem is I can't fight him on the um, on the normal turf. Um, I guess it's general... time to use the uh, acid hole trap. And Which actually, like, the funny thing is, he's not that powerful. Yeah. Because he with his power up, he only has two thousand one hundred. Yeah, yeah. So that actually, isn't too bad. I might actually not fight him. Just walk away from him. <laughs> just be like, I'm. I'm just gonna go rape your owner in the face. Okay. <laughs> bye. Let's see what would I have? I have two thousand. He has two thousand one hundred. What I can do is I, I can see if I can trick him. Hmm. Let me see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Because there. AI is very aggressive. Even if it's not that bad, it's always very aggressive. Aggressive, yeah. It's like Which... I want to kill whatever I see. Yeah. This time he didn't. Oh my. I mean, if it doesn't work, I can always just put a freaking gas boy down. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's the only one I have, so... Right, so I can understand being like, well, what? I'd like to save it if I can. <sighs> for if I ever need it for an emergency. So that was a magic card, like I said it would be. Yep. But actually, what, what magic card was it? Stain Storm destroys all machine monsters on the field. <laughs> That's really useless in this situation. Yeah, uh, that's like Avast. Yeah. Avast, get off of here. We don't need your shenanigans. And there's another two headed King Rex, but it's I'm fighting on my turf. Yep. <laughs> Yay. Can we be survived? I'm super hyped. Can't believe I you do wouldn't believe how hyped I am about that thing just getting owned. Oh actually oh well I'm gonna put on the fucking elevator because I don't have yeah. anything else I can do. Right. Sounds good. But uh oh yeah, I think I was saying I don't think I finished my thought, though I'm not sure. Something I'm liking about this game already is that the maps seem to have a um, different feel to them, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, I, later they have another thing, which um, is another type of field where only monsters with 1500 attack or less are allowed to go into those fields. All other, mm. all, all other monsters that go into it die. Like, like they have some interesting ideas That's like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. uh, well, I mean, I, I think the game is well made in some aspects and really badly made in others. But it's kind of a bit difficult to judge. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to judge, but I'd say they they did what they needed to do to make an enjoyable game. Oh, hey, Rain of Mercy. It just it seems that they uh, they seemed a bit unsure about actually. It, it, it feels like they had some really weird restraints going on, like, why is everything so unnice, and why is the game so strangely balanced, that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is weird that they made the game just so player-unfriendly, that's... Yeah, like, that, that, that's generally what it is, it's just a very unfriendly game, actually. Yeah. Oh, we raped the sword arm of Dragon. Really? Is that what it was named? I I think that's what it was named. So you can check the names list if you want. I, I guess I can. The sword arm of dragon. Yeah. Sword? <laughs> what name <laughs> is that? It's a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know what kind of name is that is. Because I was I like, are, are you getting mixed up um, like sword arm online? But no, it's actually just named that. Sword arm yeah. online before it was cool. Uh, yep, yep. If if, <laughs> if I ever get a dragon, I'm going to name him the Sword Arm of Dragon, and then I'm going to tie him to a dragon. Calling Dragon 2. I mean, not much of a dragon if it doesn't have wings, bro. I mean, I know yeah. there are dragons without wings, but still. 
I tend to. I, I usually think of Dragon Thought Wings is more way rooms, but yeah. But, but uh, that's what I meant. Yeah, way rooms. Technically, okay. that's the way I believe. Yeah, you're right. I, I, yeah, I believe you're right. It's a uh, subcategory. Man, I'm winning, but I have to look out here because I just took so much fucking damage that turn. How? Yeah, how'd that happen? Well, he killed the fight cheat thingy in a crit attack mode. Oh, I didn't realize it was an attack mode. Yeah, because it was, because I wanted to go on my end, which I mean I did, but you know that didn't quite work out perfectly. Right. Well, he's all yeah, but yeah, as long as you can get in some more decent attacks and and be careful and use boost to get through. <laughs> that means. Oh wow, well, uh, I can combine those two. Wow, which makes it, it made a pretty decent monster. Yeah, that's good to know. We can we can combine mushrooms with monkeys? <laughs> yeah. That's the best plan. <laughs> it's just that's like yeah, wouldn't want to combine mushrooms with monkeys. It's like it's like the perfect combo combination. It's like combining the dungeons with the dragons. It was over when there are no dragons or dungeons. <laughs> yep. Which, uh, honestly, in my past few, yeah, funny enough, in my past few D and D campaigns, there have indeed been neither. Wait, that makes a question. Okay, wait, I have to freaking move. The thing is, I kind of suit myself slightly up here. <laughs> Hmm. I, I should. I kind of let, let this carry away just a bit. But I can still win. Good. I think. <laughs> I mean, I get an insect armor with power laser, laser cannon. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty OP. Okay. Oh, I can, I can win so this. Because all I need is um this the ancient one of the deep forest, mm. which gets a boon on that forest field. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, I see. And and there, yeah, now you go. We should watch a fight, cause I'm curious what an ancient one does. Okay, I will show it next time. Okay. I'm sorry, I keep skipping these because I actually have personally seen them, so I keep thinking that we have seen them, but forgetting that we haven't. It's you're just being racist against America again. America sucks. <laughs> America sucks, did you boys? Pear pears suck. Wait, they do, obviously. <laughs> what? I don't know. That's what I pears don't, do. I, they suck. I'm, I'm confused what you said exactly. They, su they do, obviously. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't I don't know. <laughs> you have no response for that. I don't really have a response for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the forest cut here and just flip it up. Right. Sounds like a good plan. Um and this is all for us, just in case that I need to run away or something like that. Yeah, in case you need to run away or in case you need the boon of forest. Yeah, smack around this thing. No, Toto! Which is weird uh, because there were like two dinosaurs on this, but there's only one dinosaur now. I'm assuming it's a dinosaur that was biting the other dinosaur, but whatever. Yeah. This actually has a really OP attack. <laughs> It looks pretty OP, wow. She just freaking like, uh, she just freaking takes its essence and like destroys it. Yep, and that's what women do. But look at it, <laughs> it rises a dinosaur biting a dinosaur. That like, sounds sexual. That sounds pretty sexual. That that's, sounds like what dragons do. Yeah, that's what dragons do, and I'm pretty sure what dinosaurs do too. Uh, Nom. <laughs> I like how when they gnome each other there. Yeah. That card is so fucked. Let's do it. 
I can show you this. Yeah. The Armored Lizard against the Ancient One of the Deep Forest, which is a really also, long name. <laughs> yes, it is. Also, I think this guy is dead. Uh, yeah, he's dead. This guy actually has but a pretty good cool I just attack. realized it had wings. That's interesting. It has little bat wings. Yep. It's a Pegasus. Wow. It's a Pegasus? I don't know. <laughs> it's oh, wow. it's a that hoof thing is... with wings. <laughs> That attack is pretty sexy though, yeah, it's pretty just... just yeah, I don't know why all my things are mages, like they all have like, things they could like beat people over the horn or they could like kill them with their vines. But for what, they all use magic, even though they're not mages technically. Yeah. It's a very oh, weird wait. word. Yeah, that is. Wait, I'm confused, why didn't he take uh, direct damage from that? Because he was in defense. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I soon go miss that aspect. I'm not sure, like, you don't seem to have an issue with that, uh, telling, but sometimes I do, just because of the way the field is set up. I like, only have that problem when I have two, when there are two opposite enemy monsters, side yeah. by side. Because if you have a unit, it's a card side, beside another card, it becomes a bit confusing. Like, it doesn't <laughs> switch how it looks, but just in my brain it seems confusing. Yeah. Because of the way it is sideways, but it's sideways to another monster that is not sideways, and I don't know, just yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I would find that confusing. Heck, I'd find it confusing normally. Like, there, I can tell if that monster is in defense mode or offense mode. I assumed it was in defense mode. Which one? The, no, not defense mode. I assumed it was in offense mode. The one you killed with the thing. Yeah, like, this um, one is defense when... because it's sideways. Right. Which is... The practical. Which is now dead. Hey, at least I don't have to cheat to do this. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could be spawning once I have like really OP cards if I wanted to. Yeah, I know. I I remember you told me about that. But yeah, you don't you don't need to. You, you rip these guys just fine. Cause that's what I do. Yep. The dark way actually has an awesome attack too, but it's really weak. But it has a cool looking attack. Yeah. So the, the the thing combined with that thing, and I killed, and then this thing dies. <laughs> it, it's such a sad word. <laughs> I know everything's just dying and getting old and stuff. <laughs> this poor guy, he's just getting chased like across the map. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. He's like, no, I don't, I don't want it. I'm actually kind of hoping for the freaking cocoon. Oh yeah, we haven't drawn that up yet. I mean, I don't need it, but it'd be nice to actually have it. I yeah, want to know it... what the monster actually, how strong it is. Yeah. Ooh, I'm glad I put my guy in the fence mode. <laughs> this yeah. Time it won't. This is. But I mean, he's actually pretty useful in the sense that he keeps respawning, which has its uses. Yeah. It's like super annoying card. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is. Yeah, it is one of those annoying cards, which um, I I know the feeling because I've I've had um, well I've had cards like that in my deck. Wow, now you're getting him almost dead. Yeah, he's. I mean, he, the thing is, he's stuck in between like my really <laughs> OP shit. Yeah. There's yeah, but... no <laughs> way he can get out of this now. <laughs> yeah, there isn't. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it wasn't one of my better decks, um, but it was one of my Magic the Gathering decks. I have this one card. It, it's not actually one card that keeps respawning, um, but it's this one card that has an effect. Uh, it's an artifact card, and it has an effect that, um, but it's also a creature. It has the effect that whenever it goes to the graveyard, it can bring back another artifact. So I have like a so they two keep, or three of them. They yeah, keep yeah, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can, in, so if you want, you can just keep cycling through them, which if I don't have anything to really defend with, that's usually what I do until I have an artifact that I actually want to bring back. Well, he's still playing cards, so I guess I can order a stall and still get the. There we go. So what one do we want to see? Do we want to see the lava of moth. Or do we see the... Oh no, okay, it's always the same. Okay, it doesn't matter which one yeah. it is. 
Let's yeah, let's just do the one without the creepy baby face. <laughs> oh, I should probably do this on like. Hey, you served me well, but you gotta go down now. <laughs> We're sorry, petite angel. Your time is your time is is uh. Yeah. No. Yay. Can... You always sound so unhappy when you say yay. <laughs> I do. Well, I apologize. And like I was actually on like that title, it's really powerful. Defense wise. Yeah, I, I know. It has like a bunch of defense and actually can kill the average attacking monster. The only form is that I didn't move it. I assumed it would always just naturally be in defense, but I have to actually move it in defense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Now it's now it's fine. It's, cool. it's one turn. Because it only counts when it's in defense, which is a bit silly. <laughs> Two turns. Yeah. It's silly that it would just go to defense, because it's not like you have to do anything. So that... I mean, there's zero attack normally, so yeah. Yeah. Four turns. Yay. Oh my god, what an effect. Lara Moth is evolving! So now it's a pupa of a, pupa of a moth. Cannot move, transforms into perfect ultimate great moss if the card survives one turn in face up. Defensive position after being flipped face up by the controlling player if destroyed in battle the card is revived as great moss in own summoning area other than the current location. Totally. Ah, <laughs> like like uh, the, the time it takes for this to actually go anywhere is ridiculous. Yeah it is. So we have to face up defense to get its full potential. So let's do it. And then one more turn. Alright, right. Come on, pupa of moth, activate! I just think at least better have like, oh wow. I guess it's pretty good. <laughs> well, this card is face wow. up in defensive position. All energy monsters are reduced by 100 points each turn. Oh, all enemy. Wow. So if you can just keep this thing in defensive positions and all your enemy monsters just slowly wither away. And I mean, it has 3,500. <laughs> yeah. And 4,000 attack. It's provably, like, yeah, it takes a long ass time to get out, but this thing is kind of OP. It's, it's fun. Wait, I guess it's supposed to be OP. Well, yeah, considering how long it, ta it takes to get out, it better. I was, I, I, was, was I was worried it would be disappointing. Yeah, I know, I was too. And <laughs> yes, now it's time to end this battle. I mean, attack and defense wise, it's not that OP, I yeah. think, considered. But it, 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 like, if it didn't have the effect, I say it'd be not that great. But due to yeah. having an effect, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it is. The effect is really sexy. So, so do I... you want to go for anything specific? Um. Well, the potion is okay, I guess. We can replace it and place one of the crappy ass monsters. That makes sense. Man, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard. I can tell from you, it's not very easy. I'm not great with roulette things either. Man, this is a tab. Let's see if we can. Oh, well. We got, we I got, got a little D. <laughs> Yay! I love the little D. It's not quite as good as the big D, but it, it's still it's nice. It's a D. Oh, these are good. Uh, what? Me lose? I don't believe it. Ah. <laughs> uh, hey, you should, because you suck at yeah. this. <laughs> you sure do, Mr. Pink Heart Bunch. This one is actually going to be interesting. Like, like I've seen these two more duels, and then that's so far I actually saw the let's play. Hmm. But um, this guy has like a really low like course, which is kind of funny. Wow, he does. We'd actually have to put ours down to fight him. That that's the point of it. Always, you have to make your dark shit you fight him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which actually, I think you might not be able to fight him unless you get some like really low worst cards. That's a bit funny. I like how it's named Mammoth Graveyard, but it's not really a graveyard so much as it's <laughs> dead Mammoth. Like, even, yeah. even when I was a kid, I was like, this doesn't make much sense. It, it doesn't make much sense. Ah, uh, I, I bet as, as a kid you used to love the little D card. I didn't think, I don't think I owned it, or I didn't. <laughs> it wasn't named Little D in German. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I imagine one of you. I don't. I don't imagine you owned it though. It doesn't. Like... Well, I mean, I owned like I would say like I I know I owned this one. I might have like I owned like at least half of the cards we have seen in this game. Right. Well, well, I still do. I still have some lying around here. I just can't do much with them. Yeah. <sighs> Makes sense. Maybe we should I would, do. I would, we should I do would... um. Play Yu-Gi-Oh over um like like Cam. <laughs> yeah, we could. I, I have cards. I don't fucking know how to use. The thing is, the only problem I was at is that a lot of my cards are German. So, I did, no one here would be like, do you even know what this card does? Wait, technically, I don't. <laughs> like, I do, but I can't prove that I know that's what it does, because you uh, wouldn't be able to read it. Well, it's not like I wouldn't believe you. I guess these days you could just look up in the internet, but yeah. Um, yeah. what I, am I trying to do? Oh yeah, I'm trying to get the cost down. Yeah, that's true. Like I said, I it's not like I wouldn't believe you, and, and like I said, there's the internet. So even if, if you thought, well, you know, maybe I still want to make sure that you can tell, well, yeah, I can just be like, like if you randomly plot a card that has, like, if the, you know, the tech of defense would make sense. It just is a flesh of the fact that, yeah. Okay, right, right. It's not like we have randomly different, completely different cards. Um, yeah, it's true. It's just that they are, uh, yeah. Um, the flavor text and the other. I guess we don't need this. The Witch of the Black Forest. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's not really useful for our kind of deck. Not to mention it only decreases it by a hundred. Not like the other one is a high return. This is a guy we are going to be fighting as zombies. Hmm. Zombies. Yep, zombies. Let's see, so we need to, um... I, what I need is, uh... They actually have a lot of sorting, which is kind of nice. Yeah. That is nice that they have a lot of different kinds of sorting. I like that. Let's see, what is this cheapest? We have the basic, basic insect. And, like, I'm trying to kick out expensive stuff. Right, right. But not the really important expensive stuff. Right. So, like, that guy I can kick out right now. Yeah, and does that get our deck low enough, or is that just, um... I think that's, uh, 7, 8, 8. I think he had, um... Mm, I can't remember. What does it... 7, 9, what? 5. Okay, yeah, you're right. I don't know why I thought his deck was super shit. I thought he had, like, 7, 7, 5. Well, yeah, I wasn't sure, but I mean, I, I, I just, I knew, like, that there had to be a way that I could even get that low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not like they could give you an enemy with a deck value of 30. But, but that would be funny. Like, like yeah. if they did that, and then the guy, like, is impossible uh, to beat. Uh, like, he, I can just, he could I cheat can the just universe. Imagine, I bet Joey does that. <laughs> right, no, Joey would just have a, it would have a deck made out of Russian roulette. <laughs> true. So That's we will see you guys cool. next time when we yes, kick zombie ass. Indeed. And thank you all for watching. Take it.